Hello everyone and welcome back to Alchus Plays Stoneblock 2. I just wanted to show this on camera. This is... <laughs> I hope this doesn't confuse me because it's the start of the new episode. Uh, but it's just after the previous episode and I don't know if I'm going to play again today. So I hope I remember. Anyway, if I start with another introduction. Apologies, but I forgot. If I tell you the uses of this, have a look at the heavy sieve. This is what we get from a flint mess. It's just basically pieces of metal. Uh, cactus seeds and cocoa beans. Not that great. If you use an iron mesh... You get uranium grit, electrotene, but also ancient spores and prosperity shells. Now, ancient spores turn dirt or sand, I think. Uh, sorry, grass. Gr grass grown on dirt uh, into mycelium, which allows you to grow mushrooms. And then witch water, which is one of the quests, if we have a look here, uh, get some witch water. So, I mean, it doesn't tell you, but it's true. So... If we sieve this compressed sand through here, there's a chance that we get exactly what we need. These are the... Well, prosperity shards are good too, because those are the start of um, your mystical agriculture thing. Ooh. Oh, thank you. What did I get? Birthday pickaxe.name. Cool. <laughs> Item.birthdaypickaxe.name is my favorite pickaxe. Um, so I'm going to uh, sift through this just to show... And see if we get any prosperity shards. This is sand, by the way. I was going to compress it into dirt, uh, into dust, and see if we can get some more redstone. But we did. So, if we have, does this tell you? Yes. No. Shimmer. Cool. Um. Basically, we now need grass seeds, which comes from right-clicking a block of dirt with these turns. In. Yeah, 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 I know that. Here we go. X nihilo. It's from just dirt. So there is a reasonable chance of it from flint string. Ha, you see, in this one, you cannot use iron. If you use iron to sift your dirt, you won't get something. So there is a maximum as well as a minimum. Uh, this is a 4% chance from all of those. And an 8% chance from a compressed dirt from flint. So we'll probably do that as well. Uh, and I'll come back, hopefully remembering that I've already started this episode, and show you what that looks like. But see you in a minute. Okay, so I think the next thing we should probably look at is this cobblestone generator, which is probably not hugely necessary for this world. By the way, um, I accidentally... I started using this pick, which I got from... Did I get this on camera? Perhaps. It is really fast. I accidentally broke too many blocks with it. Um, also... Oh, excuse me. I'm not sure if we can fix it, so I don't want to break it. So I'm going to put it in here for now. Just to show you, I'm just going to show you. I will show you how much clout this pickaxe has. I will go up here and I will do some more dicky dicky hole just so that you know what you've missed out on. Okay? <laughs> uh, so, cut me some slack. I don't want to. I, I'm having trouble just mining a single block using this pick. It's ludicrous. Okay, so hmm. also it seems to have a huge amount of um, d d durability. So we might actually, no, now I think about it, we might want to use this pick to dig out a whole area because we do want to work on a mob farm eventually. And it might as well be soon, okay? Uh, we ha I finished cooking up a whole... Mm. No, I didn't. <laughs> I finished melting a whole bunch of iron and there's plenty more stuff in here for me to get through. Um, but now is not the time. I'd like some more cooked apples as well. There's a few things we want to get on to. So one of them is going to be uh, using the bonsai trees to try and make little tiny trees that will... Um, uh, where did my... Um, that will just permanently create... Uh, get the block. Um, just... Wood, it'll create them slowly, create wood slowly, but it will create it. Um, I also noticed, because in the previous episode, I don't know if you remember, was it? A little bit discombobulated, because I remembered when I started this episode that I had done a little introduction for it, so I didn't <laughs> start talking about it, but I'd forgotten when it was that I noticed, this is silly, that we had um, a seared, I tried to type steak, obviously. Um, a seared furnace controller. So I went and had a look at how that works. 
It's not particularly difficult, particularly difficult, in fact, so it seems. Also, um, you may have noticed that I could mm, expand this and make it uh, more easily for myself. So I might just knock out some wall here. Just so that I can embiggen this space, but I also kind of don't want to... <laughs> it's just silly. It's silly how fast it is. Um, well, I was going to say, I can just do this, right? Um, so, have these back in there. Uh, this is how you can create further um, seared stone very easily. You just put it in there. Excuse me, what? Uh, two blocks, two ingots. Mm, two. So, uh, I'm going to do this slowly now. We can expand this smeltery at will, and we won't lose what's inside it. And we can expand it because we now have a quicker way of making seared stone. Now, the, the seared furnace, which is the uh, thing that I was looking at, and I made a little creative test world like I said I would. The It's a just a, a furnace with way more slots in it, but it doesn't do all doubling. So if you want the behavior that we currently have, which I do, of this smeltery, you have to use a smeltery, but it does involve some sort of manual attention, see? Whereas, two blocks of seared stone, you just chuck one in and it comes out as seared, it's great. Um, not everything that we're doing, we necessarily want to be the, the doubled, <laughs> basically. Some things that we are doing, we can get away with being more than doubled. Uh, not doubled. More than doubled? No. Not doubled at all. I've uh, taken this apart, but it occurs to me that I should really keep it together for now because we don't have enough. I had to wait for it to finish, which is quite rude. I apologize. Why don't you uh, just continue with what you were doing for now while I make the space around you for what we want to do, which is to expand it. So we will put more in here, which uh, cobble back. One, two, three. Hello. I mean, you can just chuck a whole bunch in and it will eventually just melt it all down if it doesn't despawn first. Six ingots of iron. How did you manage that? Because you're supposed to keep doing that. There we go. I clicked on it to show you. <laughs> and, and then it wasn't so great. Cool. So we can wait for that to cool down. <clears throat> sure I had more. I put them down there. What did you do that for? That's okay. When this cools down, we can start pouring this out and these, which will eventually... It's very slow as well, this uh, smeltery, so we do want to get into electricity. Um, so let's build out this space. And I want to work on some quests, one of which is the cobblestone generator. Now, this is easy. We can make this cobblestone generator right now. So let's uh, do that instead of just digging. We've seen people dig. It happens all the time. I'm just going to put these things away. You go in there. We need one more bucket. <coughs> and cob stone gen stone generator tier two is made out of tier one tier one is glass and cobblestone we have glass yes do we have cobblestone just use it we will make one bucket of lava and one bucket of excuse me water and then we can make our cobblestone generator. That one. Thus, ta-da, it has been done. Where should we put it? Any old where. Why not? You can go here. This is going to slowly just produce cobblestone, right? That's it. I don't think it even needs power, does it? But we, It's not telling me how much is in it. So it's possible that it's just going to produce it slowly over time. That's also fine. I don't mind this. Um... Random reward. Fans, oh, those are good. I like those. So a cobblestone generator tier two, give me these back, is iron around this one. So just give me this. We created some, so it, it will work. Um, tier two, iron. Yes, I didn't actually make my iron. I will take a block. Deconstruct a block. And then we have tier two, ta-da. Tier three is gold, is blaze rods. 
Wait, that's not tier 3. Tier 3 is diamond. Oh, that's harder than... What? Okay. So the other thing we don't want to be doing is constantly sifting all the time. That's going to get tedious, I guarantee it. So we want to be able to either auto-sift somehow or generate resources in another way that is also automated. Any of this works fine for me, so I think, why not both? There's going to be a few patches here and there as I accidentally use this uh, <laughs> silly, silly pick. It also says, by the way, right click for a surprise. Cake! <laughs> I didn't know you... Okay. Uh, that used a considerable amount of the durability of it though, so maybe we didn't want to do that. We also want to make a better farm, because this little thing here is all very well and good and will work well for now, but we want a space for it. We should start thinking about, you know, this is, this is what we wanted, a nice big area, and this is not nearly the size that it's going to end up, but I don't know if this pickaxe is using any durability. Four, five, six, three. It is. I think it's using one per, which is normal, but it's got a lot. How are you doing on stone? Six blocks of stone. So this won't take nearly as long to make. We can start expanding the thingy. The only issue, if you can call it that, is that this block of seared stone does not match these blocks of seared stone <laughs> here. Which is okay, I guess. It's just not aesthetically pleasing. You can make it into ingots and then turn that into um, into stone the long way, but why? Seems like way too much effort to me. So we would like this to look nicer. And we would like this place to generally be bigger. So let's uh, make a little bit more headroom for ourselves. Like this. It's so much easier. <laughs> Look up and press the button. Um, the other thing we're going to do today is finish off our Tinkers. Uh, the, the current goal that we have for Tinkers, which is to make a hammer so that we can basically do what we are doing, but a little bit more legitimately and without risking breaking this uh, pretty swish brand new pickaxe that we've got. I recognize that I am also... Probably making places for mobs to spawn. Yes, I'm back there. Let's do this. For now, we will do it this way. Oh, I should probably babysit this a little bit more. Uh, but I think we might have enough iron by now, actually. Let's see. Which iron do we have? Five blocks, six blocks, and we only need... So we want a tool forge, which is going to be... Right, let's make an iron tool forge. Which is this... This one, block of iron. Three said bricks, the tool station we already have, and only four um, actual, hello, not that, only four actual iron blocks. So we might as well pick this up with an axe. It's not an axe. Put this here, put these, excuse me, four, thank you, here, and then we will have one more of these. I think that's enough. Find out. Perfect. And that is a quest as well. We're going to need better cobblestone storage, which is another quest. So we have done this quest. Building gadget. The gadgets are in. That's uh, Northern Lions. That's Direwolf's very own um, actual mod that we've got going on there. We had a Tinker's thing. Here it is. And a garden cloche. That's also cool because it means we can start uh, growing. We're, we're going to want it eventually. I don't know if it's any use right now. The building gadget is really useful. I would like the um, other gadget, actually. What's it called? Gadgets. Gad so there's a destruction gadget as well. There's a, this one. There's two voids blocks. So you can uh, undo it. That's actually quite easy. 
It's a very cheap recipe. This just lets you delete a huge area of land, which is fine because we have A, more than enough cobblestone as we are already, and B, um, a cobblestone generator, which is occasionally giving us a stack of cobblestone. So if I wanted to make a big hole and fill it with stuff, I will. I want to push you around. Well, I will. Well, I will. But that means now we can start looking at more better tools. So here's our hammer. Let's see what our hammer's made of. It's made of two plates, a hammer head, and a heavy, uh, heavy tool stick. So we haven't actually got all those things yet. We've got a tool rod pattern. We haven't got a heavy tool rod pattern, which is this one. Tough tool rod pattern. We want the hammer head sharp. Well, we want the sign. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> the hammerhead pattern and the plate pattern, which is this? Yes. And what we're going to have to do here, uh, apart from put them into the pattern chest, is construct... Let me get some cobblestone. We construct the thingy using the doodah. Put that in there. So we're going to get a, a stone plate. We're going to get a stone hammerhead. And we're going to get a stone tool, tough tool rod. And these are the three parts we need for the thingy. And then we're going to store these in here. And we need some more gold. Three blocks. Um, not much gold in here, I think. No. This will double the gold. So we'll get four out of this, which is actually enough. But it's we're running low on gold. So I think off camera at some point, I'm going to have to start um, with... More sifting. I've got some gravel. Um, I've been sifting dust. Dust. If you have a look at the uses of dust in the sieve, from our iron stiffened mesh, we can get all this stuff. Some of which is blaze powder, which will actually get us to um, tier four of the cobblestone generator before it gets us to tier three. We've already got some blaze powder in. Yeah. I, I made a new chest, by the way, which is up here. It's got my gems in it. I've got three diamonds, four emeralds, which is amazing, uh, some lapis and all that sort of stuff. And in one of these chests, I'm sure I have... Yeah, I've got blaze powder as well. So we are actually getting some decent resources just from sifting dust. However, I think we might want to start sifting other stuff. Oh, actually, here's a problem. This is only four ingots of gold, but to make one of these as a cast, we need eight ingots of gold, I think. We can make aluminium brass, right? Al... Aluminum brass. So maybe I didn't need to do this. Uh, alloying is three aluminum and one copper. That was in millibuckets, but it, it works anyway. Let's put our ingot cast back. Just make some gold ingots. We should, probably didn't need to do it this way. Two more of these. And we should throw some more stone in here at some point, but not right now. This doesn't have to be square, by the way. This can be big... It can be seven by seven is the maximum size. So maybe that's what we'll end up with. Uh, we do have this furnace making nothing right now. So that's going to be quicker than anything else, actually. Uh, let's make some smooth stone. Because then we can patch up our base as we screw it up. <laughs> going to happen. Uh, we should probably make a... That's not ready yet. A couple more chests. Eight. Because we want the chests to contain more things. You know? Building gadget will eventually be useful, but right now it's not. I'm going to put that in there. We'll put a chest over here for um, agricultural stuff, which again is not going to be there for long. Which is in here. Two ingots. So we wanted one aluminium. I haven't got any. What aluminium or... Oh. So one aluminium is three of these. So three more of those is one more of those. Get all that in. Hey, it fits. It's going to melt real quick. Is that going to alloy? No. And then the copper will take longer, but when it does melt, we're going to have several ingots of aluminium brass. And when that's happened, we can start making these casts without spending our precious, precious gold. So that's valuable too. 
Gold can go in here. Everything that I've smelted is going in there because that's in my crafting area. But uh, I think so. What I'm going to do is get a little bit more um, copper and aluminium. Where's aluminium come from? Yeah, that that is from gravel, which is nice. And then copper. Excuse me. Uh, what? What did I do? I try to press R, but I, I something's reset. <laughs> it's doing the thing. Yeah, it's all from gravel. So that's fine. Um, why was the why were the particle effects? I don't understand. Aluminium. What? You said. Did I get it wrong? Did I get it wrong? Three aluminium, one copper. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just chuck it all in. Give me my aluminium. Where are you? We took all this in, it'll just alloy very quickly. We can see how much we get. So, um, it takes a while to mix. Which is cool. So that's going down slowly. Does it three millibuckets at a time? The bucket is the standard unit of measurement in Minecraft for liquids. I'll take your time. Right, and then we'll just do this. So that's enough room for... So you can go in there. You can go in there. How much of this have we got? One block, four ingots, and three nuggets. That's really annoying. <laughs> well, we can do this, at the very least. How much have we got now? Three ingots. It was only one ingot. I lied. Or I was wrong. Never assume malice when incompetence will suffice. So now we can make hammerheads, hammerheads and hammers in general. So what do we have in here? Really annoying amount of stuff. You can, if you don't want it, you can just break it. Uh, can I melt this down? Does it turn into anything at all? No. So never mind. It would be nice though, because it would make nuggets, right? You can make a nugget cast, but like why? <laughs> why bother? Uh, that is a block. So let's do that. That's eight ingots and six new gays. So I'm going to go and um, sift some gravel, see if we can get some more stuff going on in here. Empty this out one way or another, and then I'll come back uh, having decided which quests to do next. But uh, yeah, I'll see you in a minute. So I think the quest that we're probably going to do is going to be the basic draw and the storage arc. I did discover there were a couple over here that I hadn't completed. I don't know if they, if I just skip them or they reset or what, but I, I got some free stuff. So that's cool. Also, we should have a look at which water. So we're going to want, going to want to make a space for that. Uh, we do have this ridiculous pickaxe here, but I'm going to um, just hide it. <laughs> Maybe I'll put it in gems chest. I don't have a tools chest right now. Um, I got loads more gems from sifting just now. So Thorncraft is likely to be in our near future. Oh, I, I accidentally put this in here. I did not mean to. Um, I'm not really doing lead right now so that can go in there we uh, i managed to get the aluminium brass out of here without destroying anything i only take one more nugget of aluminium to do so which is grand we also need to think about the fact that we need food uh but we'll talk about that in a minute because we're going to go and make some storage we want a basic drawer so let's make one the recipe for a basic drawer Drawer is different materials. Open the chest. It's a trap chest, but it can be either chest. So we get our oak. You turn some of it into this, turn some of that into this, and then the rest of it. Drawer. There we go. We have completed that quest. There are many other things we can do. For example, compacting drawers are really cool. Um, but we also want to just do these upgrades, really, because I think we should be able to knock a few of them out. Torch launcher. I think we already had one of those, no? Did we not? I've seen one before. It doesn't have its... uh doesn't have a... Does it have a sfax? No, I don't think it does. That's cool. Uh, if you, <laughs> you're going to fill up this space, we could launch a few torches. Uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to make the... Oh, 
grey template, which is sticks and a basic draw. So, I mean, should we, can we make more? Let's just make a few chests. Because we're going to want a few draws. Uh, we're going to make a few draws. And then we're going to make a few sticks. We might already have some sticks. Yes. Not enough, but we should make sure we're using what we've got. Uh, that makes us two. Let's make a couple more because we've got a few templates to make. The next one is a storage upgrade, which is... Well, let's just uh, hit this button here. Usage. Uh, there is a storage upgrade which requires obsidian, which we can make. Watch this. Where's my bucket? My, my inventory. I think I'm correct. We can do... That's not enough lava. We'll make the obsidian soon. Get this in here. Meanwhile, <laughs> um, just do it all. There we go. We can... I don't really know what to do with the drawers because we don't have much in the way of resources that we have a huge amount of. Maybe what we should do is have a wall of drawers here. And I'm standing on the... Uh, on these for now, but it's not going to stay this way. Uh, I haven't still got my drawers because I just used them. Uh, you're a basic drawer. Let's just make four drawers for now. Goodness me. Do this right. There we go. And then uh, the recipe for that is one of backspace, one of those, and the recipe for that is one of those, and there's some drawers. We do get two drawers out of each, which is nice. But So, we can now start putting things we have a lot of into these drawers. For example, oh, that's one by two. I didn't mean to do that. That's okay. But, no, trouble is, <laughs> I didn't want that drawer. I want it a uh, single drawer. And I turn a double drawer into a single drawer. Oh, cool. Like this. We can turn them into those. Or we can always turn it into a compacting drawer. So let's, uh, let's pull these down. My mistake, it's okay. Give me an axe. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, first of all, we need to get the cobblestone. There we go. Make a simple axe out of stone. Start breaking these things down a little bit better. Where are you? There you are. i turn these into upgrades later. I'm not too worried that I made a mistake. Just a little bit embarrassed and I should hide my face. Oh, uh, give me this. Put those away. Uh, more chests, obviously. Draw. Basic draw. Oak. These. Not wrong. Not wrong. Right, that's the correct number of drawers. One, two, three, four, and then cobblestone in here. All of it. Double right click to get all that in there. And then, gravel. Gravel, gravel, gravel. What I'm thinking is we just sort of put the various layers of cobblestone in here, right? We'd put some dirt in there if we had any. Which we do. And then you can just store a lot of one type of block is basically the purpose of those. There's space for one more of dust and then I'm thinking we just make a big wall of drawers eventually, but there's going to be gaps for now because of the way it works. That's loud. Is that everything out there? Hooray! So we can start expanding that soon too. Um, I have a drawer of drawers. <laughs> no. Not going to happen. Don't be silly. I don't know where they came from. I'm so confused. Where are all these things coming from? I did win some more double layer capacitors and it's powered diamond anvil. Repair anything using energy. Which I'm wondering is like put this here. Zero RF. Oh, we ran out of thing. That used a lot. Oh, we've got stone. Hmm. Okay, we'll just shove some more coal in. <laughs> why, why not? <laughs> I used a lot of RF to get that done. I'm assuming that that's less RF than the coal itself made, right? I mean, I've used less coal to 
cut this stone than it would have taken. Why are you upside down, you weird thing? So does that mean I can get my amazing pickaxe that I lost? I'm just like whack it in here. Yes, but look how much it takes. But I can. That's the important thing. I can repair anything, including the hammer that we're now going to think about making finally. Uh, we want to turn this iron back into molten iron, because what we're going to do is we're going to... I'm going to make this completely out of iron, I think. Oh, it just occurred to me that obsidian is pretty good. So if we do this, we should be able to do this. No, I remember. This, then this. Yes. So we can make obsidian, in case you were wondering. Uh, shift left click to get some more stuff out there, and then double right click to put it back. Uh, that's good. We can also make obsidian by putting that liquid into here, which also works fine, but we have to wait for the liquid, which is the major uh, blockage. It's the bottleneck in our, in our system right now. So let's make this. Um, I was tempted to make an obsidian. Uh, we should put these in here so that it <laughs> actually gives us some. I was tempted to make an obsidian plate. Can we make a tinker's uh, materials and because the um, the obsidian plate used to, I think, be quite a good thing to use. You know what? I've got plenty of these. But I can't remember why, so I'd like to look up the, um, the recipe. Paper? Where am I supposed to get paper from? The book. Very funny. Sawdust. Sugar canes. Sawdust. Rice! Rice makes paper. I forgot about that. It's rice paper. How much do I get? Three. Okay. And a piece of string. You can make a book out of the uh, Tinker's bits, which is really nice. Because I can do this, and I can do this, and then I've got this, which is what we want. Because now we can have a look in here, and it will tell us about material. Mining level cobalt, if you use the head. The extra just adds durability. Okay, so this is how this works. If you make the head of the, so we've got a hammer head cast in there right now so the hammer head cast we're going to make an iron cast right so we're going to have an iron hammer head who has a reasonable durability can mine diamond but not cobalt is one higher than diamonds it can't mine cobalt has a reasonable mining speed attack etc if you make other parts out of things you get different behavior so the, if you make the stick, the handle out of iron, you actually get 0.85 the total durability of what you would have got if you didn't. If you made it out of something else. Whereas, if you use obsidian for the head, that's way less durable, but you can mine... That's actually better. I don't mind the durability, do you see? Because 204. If you find something really good uh, for the handle, like this energetic alloy, which I can't make right now, Modifier of two. So I get twice the durability just by making the handle out of an energetic alloy. Can I make it? Energetic alloy. Uh, I don't think I can because I think I need you know, the, the, right, the right tools. Molten energetic alloy. Alloying. Glowstone, gold, and redstone. Hang on. I would like to know. Can I destabilize this redstone in here? Yes. Hi, is that going up? Yes, it is. So this said, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I only need one ingot of this. No, I need several. <laughs> what are you talking about one ingot? But we can probably make this. I want to see... Okay, I need one ingot to see if it works. So let's try it. Uh, alloying, alloying, casting. Alloy, alloying. So this 
is two and a half times that. So I'm not going to have a sensible amount left at the end of this. And this is a wonky amount afterwards as well. But I don't know how many... Well, let's see what we get before we make any decisions, right? I've only got this one piece of redstone. In my entire collection, I've got one piece of redstone. It's not like it's anywhere in here. Did I put them in here? No. Um, so... We're destroying it for science. We're just going to... For science, this. Uh, redstone, by the way, comes from dust, I think. So I can make more. Yeah, dust through iron. So, and of course, diamond too. And what is this? Just an iron mesh. Okay, cool. Uh, we can compress some... I've got so much stuff, I can make dust no problem. So I can eventually get more redstone. Which I'll do off camera. I'm not going to bore you with it. But we're going to sit here and watch this melt. Meanwhile, we are going to not make this out of this because i think we're going to make this out of obsidian can i just do this yes we will also i don't know how many um blocks of obsidian it's going to take for me to get uh, the head made of obsidian right what you can do is if you put uh lava you can right click on a drain like this you see, and you can do this you see. and now we have one block of obsidian. I'm about to have another one. We've got molten conductive iron. What have I done? <laughs> oh no. All right. Conductive iron. Conductive iron. Where are you? You're in here somewhere. There you are. Handle modifier 1.25. Diamond. Lightweight. So we could make um, the plates out of this to make it lightweight, which increases the overall speed of your tool when mining and attacking. Uh, and it adds some durability. So that's actually not a terrible idea, although I have wasted my redstone on doing so. We're going to get two blocks of obsidian. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in here. I have decided that this is the correct thing to do, simply because this will let me mine cobalt, which now I think about it is not that big of a deal. It might be a big of a deal because... In this mod pack, there's a mining dimension. <clears throat> so that is half full. So we need two more of those. Either way you do this, you end up with... Um, you need one, uh, no, one bucket of lava for each obsidian. So it's not like we're doing ourselves any favours by doing it that way or the other way. We just really need this to go faster. So, let's fill up with more... Cobblestone, hello. Thank you. You want that to be nice and full. The other thing is, if you recall, torch, soon we're going to be able to make this. Because if we have a look at the uses of this, uses of torch, we see that we can use a crucible heat source, which means we can click on this. And we learned... No, no, no. I did that wrong. Uh, crucible heat sources. And... Wait, how did we get to... <laughs> Come on. This one. That's what I meant. Uh, block of uranium we're never going to get. Um, I'm just going to ignore that exception that happened in the bottom there. Blazing pyrothium we may eventually get, but not for now. The superheating element here is four copper, four redstone, and the steel casing. The steel casing requires steel ingots. The steel ingots, if I remember correctly, we could make these as long as we had... Excuse me? Charcoal, iron, where, where did this come from? And stone hammer. It's hardened stone, which is unhardened stone, which is, we can make this. This is going to make a big difference. Let's make this a slightly longer, let's do that in the next episode. I was going to start doing all these things and I've been sidetracked so many times. I'm going to call it a day. Thank you for watching this episode. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope it's not too long because I have no idea and I hope you'll join me in the next one which I'm immediately going to record. See you in a minute.